family meeting. We've got an hour until Mercer's back. Only one hour? More than an hour. An hour and 15 minutes. I can't really read analog clocks. Is it called the analog clock? What is yeah, it? it's called an analog clock. One, five, ten. <laughs> We have an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, why do we have such a challenging clock? Okay. It's a totally normal clock. Well, it's Roman numerals. What did you um, want to address in this family meeting? Well, I think that we should first just talk about the family meeting concept. Uh, okay. Just chat about what it is that we're doing and why. Okay. And maybe like get on the same page around what it is we're doing. I think that would be good. Is it not just like a family meeting where we talk about things that we're grappling with in the fleeting moments that we have alone? Well, that, but I also want to know, like, how you're feeling about it. How am I feeling about the family meeting? Well, we don't ever have meetings. We don't we ever talk. We have talks, though. And now I think we're just putting the word meeting on it. We don't have very regular talks at all. I don't have a strong feeling about family meetings to begin with. I think we're just like setting time aside to talk about stuff. Okay. Unless you want me to have feelings about the meeting? Do you have feelings about the meeting? How are you feeling about the meeting? I was just trying to set the stage. <laughs> what stage would you like, like to set? Well, you're being so fucking condescending. No, I'm trying to understand your, what your expectations are. I'm not being condescending. I'm trying to like figure out what it is and understand it. I don't know. We've never done this before. So okay. I don't, who wants to go first? What kind of issues are we really talking about? Are you going to be a fucking asshole the whole time? Well, me personally, I want to talk about preschool and where we're sending Mercer to preschool. That was my fucking <laughs> idea. Are you kidding? <laughs> What homework? I told you to come up with some issues that were important that we talked about. I think the issues are that I'm classically underprepared for things. And, uh, yeah. I'll, I'll bring up an issue. This is disappointing. This is great. I think this is going really well. You're disappointing to me. I have an issue. Great. How are you and I going to be a united front on our upcoming family trip? with oh, your parents boy. and my mom and do we need like a safe word for when you and I just need to be like alone because I know I was just gone in Japan and Hawaii and sometimes having the help of your parents is not the help that you want and sometimes being alone is more of a help than mm -hmm. actual help so like how can we as a couple prepare for this two week trip international trip to Bali and a 17 hour flight and coach to Singapore with a one and a half year old. How, what, what safe words, what can we as a, as a power couple put in place <laughs> to support us? It's funny to think of us as a power couple. Um, first of all, super impressed by the issue. Thanks. Yeah. Really good issue. Um, much more pressing than preschool, I think. Much better than what I've prepared. <laughs> Oh, if well, I'm being honest. Let's go. Um, I'm disappointed and... in you for not being prepared. <laughs> uh, definitely needs to be talked about. Okay. Um, what's worked in the past? Like, what have we done in other situations that felt like, oh, that was good? Safe word? I mean, Sure, we can have a safe word, but like it also doesn't need to be safe because I can just say like I need to like get out of here. You need like an unsafe <laughs> word, <laughs> like a loud word. Switch blade. <laughs> it just, yeah, it doesn't need to be safe. It could be just like very blunt and clear. Okay. Um, but yeah, the united front actually is the part that's feeling important to me. Um, I'm just being comfortable. I want you to be comfortable, but I also don't want you to block your mouth with your hand. <laughs> you could use this upstage arm. Well, then I'll block the mic. Not if you're not touching the mic. I'm just trying to be comfortable. Can you let me be? Yeah, Leave you're me alone. Okay. Relax. I'm disappointed um, in you. Only one person's allowed to be disappointed <laughs> here, and it's me. Okay. It is forever me. All right. Well, I'd like to talk about my very serious issue that I've presented. Yeah, it's a good issue. Um... Okay, so other trips that we went on, London, absolute disaster. Because your dad, your dad's an alpha, 
but sometimes doesn't like relinquishing the alpha yeah, role. Yeah, we got to the bottom of that one. I think we're going to be like... I've planned a, this whole trip, so right. he doesn't have to alpha at all. Right, you're going to alpha. He can be on vacation and I can coordinate. So actually... I'm producing the shit out of this vacation. Right. Which I've... Yep. That's all great. I've actually been thinking that you're going to have to be like everybody's everything on the trip. And so I'm actually more concerned about like, how are you going to be there for Mercer and I, since you're going to have to like be there for everybody, but maybe, okay. We're, I think we're losing the point. No, I think that's like a good concern. I think, yeah, look, I mean, every weekend I go on tour or even with this USO thing, I'm always presented with an itinerary and I rarely read it. And I always ask the tour manager, like, what's next? Mm -hmm. And I feel them telling themselves, why don't you look at the fucking itinerary? <laughs> so maybe I just need to bluntly tell our family, hey, before asking me anything, look at this piece of work that I've put in front of you to help. Yeah. Yeah save me from having to produce in real time what I've already produced. I mean, I think you did that when we went to Mexico and it still didn't work, but we should. Oh, really? I thought Mexico went pretty well. You didn't feel like they were bugging you about stuff? Not a whole lot. We also okay. weren't like, there was only one day that I planned like a thing on. Yeah. So there was a lot of downtime for people to like wander up to me where I think this feels a lot more Yeah. Okay. planned out. Well, I think we can definitely do that. I think, I think, I think as far as like, United front, we're going to not jump to conclusions. Okay. Not bring up controversial situations or confusions in public. That's like, if one. you're worried about something or confused or frustrated about something, let's, like, try to talk about it privately instead of in front of everybody. If that's, like, the United front situation. How do you feel about you running point? on damage control and conflict with your parents and me running point on damage control and conflict on my parents. <laughs> okay, there's a few things here. One, I do think we should figure out roles. I agree. Um, there I will... think I should be the man. And I think, yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it was like offensive, but also I do want you to be the man. So yeah. I don't know why I had that response. Um, your mom will not have conflict, and it's not your family. It's one person. So I think that's not a fair division of responsibility. I think it's very fair. I'm going to have mom, dad, and sister. Okay. And well, what if I run point with mom, sister, my mom? I don't think this is productive. Yeah. I don't think we're going to... No one's in charge of running point with individual people. I think we just need to collaborate on issues privately. There's no running point. I'm not like taking control of a certain family member. Okay. I'm, I'm in charge of our son and that's fucking it. For sure. But like yesterday, mm -hmm. I'm, I, uh, I'm not comfortable telling your dad to stop or oh. behave differently. Well, yeah. If you want me to talk to my dad about something, you should ask me to talk to my dad about something and I'm very happy to do it. Okay. But don't expect that I will catch on or anticipate or anticipate those things because okay. you're going to have to share them with me. Even yesterday, I like did not know that you actually didn't want to work on the fence or that you didn't think it necessarily made sense to even start before we go on our trip, which all com makes complete sense. But I would have like not had a lot of opinions if I knew that and would have just been like, oh, let's just tell him to wait. I would have said that from the beginning, but you were like trying to go with it, even though it was annoying you. And then we got like too far down the line and now we're stuck. It's a whole tangent that we won't be able to use because nobody knows about the fence. Well, we could tell them about the fence. Sure. I think that really helps me knowing that you will not anticipate. Also, but family meeting is a safe place. So. Do you not feel safe? No, not with that comment. I'm allowed what, to talk what about whatever I want to talk about. And for you to passive aggressively tell me that a tangent that I'm going on, which isn't a tangent because it's it productive for the conversation. For to, to think out loud about the purpose of us recording this formal family meeting. No, the purpose is more than just for recording. The purpose is us to actually talk about stuff. Totally. So maybe but we I need to talk about the But I think the purpose is also like us getting better at this. So 
I'm going to talk about what I want to talk about. And if it requires me going on a tangent, I'm going to go on a tangent. And you're going to just allow that and not make a big deal about it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. That's the first time you've said that to me, ever. No. Yeah. I've said yes, ma'am, before. Not real. Maybe in a joke, but that was real. I think that was I real. could sense that that was real. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think we need to set aside time every day just for the two of us or the three of us. So you think on our upcoming trip to Bali, it's important that we set apart time that is just for us, our nuclear, nuclear family. Definitely. Yeah. Which is going to be impossible. Maybe but. not. Well, your dad likes getting up early and doing coffee stuff with you. So yeah, I like doing coffee stuff with him, too. Which makes it very hard for us <laughs> to well, have Maybe the time. morning's not the one. Maybe it's nap time. When everyone's awake. And we'll, we'll just nap. Okay. I think mornings would work best for me. But and not for me. So now we have to come up with another option because marriage is about compromise. So... I think it would not be too much me asking that you not do private special coffees with your dad every morning so that you and I can, like, start our day together, you know, put a purpose in place, put a expectation on the day. I think it's it's easy for the day to, like, run away from us very quickly, especially when we're in, like, an exotic place on the go. We're not always going to have nap time. Some of the days we're going to be out on, like, day-long excursions, just, like, seeing what happens with Mercer. So I don't think it's too much to ask that you and I connect in the mornings. It could be before coffee. Oh, okay, so you'll wake up early. You're not going to, like, sleep in and stuff. I'm going to, because of the time difference, I'm going to be awake every morning very early. Okay. I've been on that side of the world. This okay. will be my third time. In I time. said okay. Safe place, this family meeting. <laughs> I'm agreeing to you because I have a different opinion and I'm, but like, fine. Okay. Is this making you feel better about the plan? No. Your approach to the plan is not making me feel better about the plan. What do you mean my approach to the plan? Fine. <laughs> okay. Well, you seemed really adamant about the morning situation. So, I mean, isn't that like what this is about is you want something, I disagree, but then now I'm saying, okay. Well, I, I yeah. guess, do you, can you present a better opportunity for us to set an intention for our day? And I don't think it's realistic to s expect that we're going to have a certain time every single day at the exact same time. I just don't, I don't think that's... That was your idea. No, I said a time, time yeah. not the same time every day. I don't know if it's going to be nighttime. I don't know if it's going to be daytime. I don't know if it's going to be morning with okay. Mercer or without Mercer. All right. I think it's too rigid. I think okay. we just have to be like, go with the flow, Mr. Not flow. Mr. wants to have coffee with his wife in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> what a square. Just be flexible. I'm just flexible. chill. <laughs> I don't think we need to make such rigid rules. Okay. I think we'll try to have time alone. I also don't think we need to be so rigid with our special coffees with our parents in the morning. I didn't say, I just said I enjoyed doing that too. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sure it's a very nice special thing. Oh my God. Why are meetings and discussions so awful with you? Oh, I'm actually really enjoying this. That didn't answer my question at all. I don't think they're awful. That me enjoying this would insinuate that I'm not having an awful time. I'm glad that we're talking about this. I know. I'm taking this seriously. I am too, by the way. Okay. I'm glad, sincerely, I'm sincerely glad to know that if I need you to talk to your dad, that I will not expect you to anticipate that need and that I need to verbally communicate that to you. But once I have, you're happy to do it. Yeah, of course. I would have just been looking for you to like read my mind if oh, we had well, not covered that in this meeting. And that really? would have been, that, oh, for sure, 100% we just avoided a fight in another country because I understand now, just to give you a heads up instead of anticipate, like assuming that you're gonna 
anticipate. How is it possible that in our nearly 10 years of being in a relationship, you've actually expected me to anticipate your feelings? And just today, this morning, you're recognizing that you're supposed to not assume that I'm going to anticipate what you need from me? Because that's what a marriage is. You find people, you learn your person, you can anticipate what might make them anxious. That's why little stupid fights happen in marriages, I think. Because everything, you, you know how to live with this person, you, you know like everything works, and then all of a sudden something dumb will happen, like, oh, I thought you closed the back door. Like, all of a sudden something very small will happen, where just somebody assumed that somebody would close the back door because they were last out of the house. And, and something as small as that can just derail years of a commitment to each other. Uh, not us, but I, I think like most marriages get in silly, silly fights because of <clears throat> little moments that remind you that you don't actually like 100% know the person you're married to through and through. Hmm. That was such a longing look of despair on your face. I mean, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. I think I think what you're saying is there's actually a big aspect of anticipation every single day that you yeah. already expect of each other, Absolutely. like the small things like that. So why would you assume that all of a sudden on this trip I wouldn't anticipate when you needed my help? Right. Mm. And it's yeah. important for me to now know in that situation, I should not have that anticipation. I should not expect you to get ahead of any frustrations that we might have towards either of our in-laws on this trip. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's great. I'm super glad we figured that out. Yeah. And we've learned to set aside, set aside, we've learned to set aside a time. Mm -hmm. Doesn't have to be your special morning coffee time, but a Why time. Why are you so like? To. <laughs> My dad is really fun by the way, and enjoyable for me to be around because he matches my energy and he loves me all the time, no matter what, and... It'd be great if you had a husband like that. <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes you're just not my hype man. <clears throat> so, what do you want me to say? Yeah, I can be the daddy of our child, but not your dad. <laughs> it's a different situation. It's a different role. But you could be more excited about me sometimes okay <laughs> don't ever feel exciting like like you're never mind you want me to grope you more no oh, i'm trying to figure out what this hand gesture was with exciting <laughs> like big like ex they're nice <laughs> no like excited like like big personality like me I don't know, like me in the morning. You are such a morning person. And you bring me down sometimes because I'm, I'm like exhausted. Well, that's your problem. I don't mm -hmm. know. That I sucks. Work nights. Well, whatever. I like waking up in the morning and being happy and joyful and excited and like to go places and you don't. Yeah. And my dad does. And sometimes I just want to do what feels better for me. Well, I'm letting you know, because of the time difference, I'm going to be waking up early every day, and then I'll be ready to go do stuff. Aww. Like, every morning at, like, 5 or 6 a.m. That's so romantic. Yeah. Thank you, time difference. Thank you, time difference. Sometimes it works in our favor. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes it doesn't, too, for sure. Sometimes for sure. It doesn't. But in the context of this conversation. Okay. Well, that feels good. Um, the only other question that I have about this trip is, like, who is doing what during the travel because in the past I feel like I'm not sure who's in charge of what like who's in charge of Mercer who's in charge of the schedule who's in charge of the gear who's making decisions and I'll just tell you right now that I often like to be the one in charge of Mercer and the decisions that's fine that's a good because you'll have to be in charge of everything else. Well, also, I'm doing so much work before we go into this trip with planning it all that honestly, it will be nice to kind of not be the point person. But you'll still do what I tell you to. Yeah, but I think you should be the point person. Right, but point person means decision maker. 
Yeah. Not like the doer of all the things, because I'm going to need help. Yeah. Okay. As long as you're not like delegating everything, I think we'll be okay. <laughs> We're gonna delegate everything. I'm the point person, so <laughs> I'm gonna sleep on this 17 hour flight, <laughs> and my plan is that you just wrangle our toddler. No, 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 that won't be my plan. Great. That won't be my plan. Okay. Excuse me. Well, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of other unanticipated issues. I had Bali written down here on my list too, but yeah, who's in charge of what? So, I think we covered that. Me. I'm in charge of Mercer and you're in charge of everything else. Yeah. Everybody else. I'm in charge of a lot of people. Yeah. Okay, did you, are we feeling good about that issue? Yeah. Yeah, I feel good about it. That's nice. It's great. Yeah. We don't usually continue to talk about something until it was issues Family like meeting. actually resolved. Family meeting. Family meeting. What next? I feel relieved. Good. I feel relieved. Cute. Cute. <laughs> Family meeting. What's our next talking point? Honestly, I'm feeling really self-conscious about what I'm bringing to the table here today. After my... It was so good. Yeah. It was really good. I feel like mine was like, how can we come closer together? And you're you about know. to rifle off about, this is what you're doing wrong. <laughs> I feel like you were just ready to make me a punching bag and no. I was like being constructive. You're like crossing <laughs> stuff out. 